It's time for Rabbi Minkowitz's Weekly Torah Lesson, a place where life's most difficult questions are answered. Here with his spiritual perspective and insight, Rabbi Minkowitz. Welcome to this week's Torah Lesson. This week's Torah portion is Parshas Chayi Sara. The question of the week is, how can we live forever? So in this week's Torah portion, Parshas Chayi Sara, name Chayi Sara, which means the life of Sarah, we find something intriguing. The Torah portion is called the life of Sarah. But nevertheless, right in the beginning, it tells us about Sarah dying and everything that takes place after her death. So the question is, why is it called the life of Sarah if it should have been called the death of Sarah? So the Rebbe explains a fascinating insight, and he says as follows. Here we see the Torah's definition of what life is. Life, one might think, you're alive in this physical world, that's life. And when you die, you're dead. The Torah is here teaching us a profound idea, and that is... What is life? Life is what you stood for and what you stand for, your values and your principles continue after you're dead, then even though you might be physically dead, but you are still spiritually alive. So if you give a look into the Torah portion, what do you see? After Sarah passes away, which was a traumatic event for her children, Yitzchak marries Rebecca, and Rebecca comes into the tent that Sarah lived, and it says all the blessings came back. In other words, what were the blessings? So it says that when Sarah was alive, there was a special, beautiful, spiritual cloud over the tent. Her food was blessed. The light, the spiritual light, the aura in her tent was beautiful. Everything came back with Rivka. So in other words, even though Sarah passed away, but Rivka continued living the same life. And as we know, the Torah tells us with Yaakov, it says Yaakov never died. But they ask, what do you mean he never died? It doesn't say anywhere in the Torah he died, but he did die. They buried him, they embalmed him, and the Talmud teaches us that as long as your children are alive, not only physically, but spiritually, and go in your footsteps, it's as if you are alive. So in other words, how could you live forever? If your values and principles are carried on by your children and grandchildren, you will live forever. This week's Torah lesson is dedicated to the memory of Baruch ben Aryeh Leib. May his soul be elevated by the Torah that we're studying in his memory. Thanks so much for joining us for our weekly Torah lesson. Please join us for live classes at Chabad. Wednesday from 12.30 to 2 we have the JLI course. Thursday from 11 to 12 we have the Parsha class given by Hannah. Thursday evening at from 7 to 8.30 we have the JLI course. Shabbat morning we have a Kabbalah class at 9 o'clock followed by davening and a Fabrengen. Shavua Tov and have a great week.